So we start, and there is only darkness. You're not sure how long you've been in this pitch black. It feels both familiar and brand new. You feel suspended in air, your body seemingly gaining more function as you float. And suddenly you hear a voice. Welcome to Alpha Complex, new citizen. A, vi a vision appears, almost like a tourism video. Uh, you see pristine, futuristic architecture and people enjoying life and smiling and happy underneath what appears to be a digital sky. The year is 241, the voice continues. Humans have escaped Earth due to... <laughs> the video chops and cuts out for a moment, only to return as if the disc scratched on a DVD. Alpha Complex is your new utopia. Here you will be safe thanks to your friend, the computer, who watches everything and makes sure life is as good as it could possibly be. More vivid imagery of vibrant futuristic life flashes before your eyes. Soon your first clone shall be birthed from its cloning vat. A community only works if it is active. And while this is utopia, Alpha Complex needs the help of valuable members such as yourself. We look forward to sharing this new world with you. And you come to consciousness. You open your eyes, and although you've never been here before, you somehow know where it is. It is an infrared clearance cloning and briefing room for new citizens of Alpha Complex. White, tiled, a bit worn down, a bit chilly, empty apart from the other people here, and a neat line of uniforms hanging from pegs along one wall. And security cameras. For your security. Your first instinct is to notice how much it doesn't look like the video you were just shown. <laughs> Um, there are other people here. Like you, they are slightly damp, rather confused, and very naked. Well, quite naked. Strategic locations on their bodies are hidden by a cloud of pixelization. So, you realize as you glance down, are yours! And names afloat above everyone's head. So everybody can go ahead and kind of introduce, uh, your character. Hi, I'm Drew. I'm... That's really nice to me. <laughs> I'm just rolling my hair. And saying hi, I'm Liz. It's really great to meet everyone, and I'm just walking over to go get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, I am Boris, and I am top heavy. I have broad shoulders and much chest hair, and I am standing comfortably. <laughs> Proud. Proud. <laughs> <laughs> The pixelization around you is generous. Like, <laughs> it doesn't it's, blur it's as much big, as other people's blur. It's just like, it's just like a giant box. <laughs> I'm Lars. I'm a programmer. I, I guess, I guess this is beta complex. We're not there yet. I'm not really... I, I don't say hi to anybody. I'm just gonna go wherever there's clothing away from them. I have, I have, um, literally almost no hair except for two little pigtails are right here. Um, very, very almost white blonde hair. And the pigtails are longer than this. They go down, like, to my butt. <laughs> to them. Um, I'm pretty short and also very wiry. Um, red hair, freckles. I'm a, I'm average all around, even my pixelization, and uh, <laughs> just like a shortcut hair, uh, but you see me just like constantly just holding myself as I'm like, <laughs> so just wake back. <laughs> <laughs> You're like those little kittens. It's just like, yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, I uh, I have um short black hair and um, like kind of in a pixie cut. And um, I am also, I'm myself, I'm short. I, I would say like nugget size, so like four, eight. <laughs> I've never played a short character. I think the time is now. <laughs> the time so is now. Grace, yes. <laughs> Alrighty. And with that, uh, you guys are stumbling around the room, a little unsure what's going on. Uh, and all of a sudden you hear pipe in over some speakers and it sounds rather grainy and not nearly as crisp as it did before. Greetings, new citizens! The voice issues from hidden speakers around the room. Welcome to your first day in Alpha Complex. Any previous days in Alpha Complex you may recall are pseudo-memories uploaded to your brain lobes to aid orientation and minimize psychotic incidents and fresh clones. As citizens of Alpha Complex, you are now valued members of our great community. 
You will be given roles and tasks, some simple and some perilous, and your contributions will be rewarded with- <laughs> There is an explosion in the distance, drowning out the voice. The room shakes slightly, an alarm sounds for a few seconds and then cuts out. A chunk of tiling falls from the ceiling, crashing onto a scrub bot, which is about like a, a robot that's like maybe this tall, kind of like two garbage cans stacked on top of each other, and a, ce a piece of ceiling falls on top of it. Uh, and there was, there was a brief silence, and then the words form in midair, please stand by. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I'm holding like the suit, uh, whatever suit was hanging up on on the, the wall, and looking towards the speakers and say, "Thank you very much." <laughs> I'm just gonna start putting on clothes. <laughs> and then a moment later, uh, uh, "Please stand by" goes away, and you just see the words "the door" appears in midair. Is there a door in sight? There is a door in the room, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I assume it's not in the middle of the room. <laughs> yeah, as far as the room goes, it's uh, there's uniforms along the walls, uh, there's a couple cleaning supplies, and then there's like a scrub bot that is now damaged in one of the corners of the room, and then a door. So we didn't get scrubbed down. Are we dirty? <laughs> You're damp. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, uh, Fine. Clone juice all over here. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> I will uh, use clone juice to slick back my hair and then get a pair of pants. Good. <laughs> just pants. I mean, like, just, I just pair pants? pants. <laughs> just a pair of pants. Alrighty, the door opens and a woman comes in. A name floating above her head reads Roz R H Y T two. Her eyes are focused on something in front of her that you can't see. Her red jumpsuit matches her hair. A memory you've never accessed before tells you that she's red level and you're infrared, which means she's one level of security clearance above you, and she can tell you what to do. And she does. Get dressed, clones, she says. Alpha Complex needs you. We've had a full-on terrorist attack on the lower level of a nearby sector and it's all hands to the pump. If you don't need the rest of the briefing, if you need anything, look it up in the Alphapedia through your cerebral cortex implant. Everyone's got their CC running, right? Everyone can see my name? And she points in the air above her head and you all can't see her name. I'm already dressed. Good. I like that moxie. Look at that. Yeah, I am just wheeled. I've uh, got my clothes and I'm leaned up against the wall just like, Pillowed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start donning whatever jumpsuit is here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand, a, I'm gonna hold his shirt out to Boris and say, "I think you missed a part." No, this is unnecessary. I will use shirt as pillow for this <laughs> child, and I will put it under his head, under <laughs> the sleepy so boy's head. So thoughtful. Oh, 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 thank you. Yes, it is better use. <laughs> Have you put your clothes on? <laughs> I still start getting dressed because him doing that kind of woke me up. I'm like, oh, I, oh, thank you. Oh. Please pants get your, uh, please get at least pants on. It is treason otherwise. <laughs> pants on. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> and I'll, I'll use, I'll use the second. I'll wear both shirts. Just I'll put them both on. <laughs> One's gonna be baggier than the other because Boris is bigger than me. <laughs> That's the kind of gumption we like to see in Alpha Complex. <laughs> uh, Roz R H Y T continues. Great, your cerebral cortex is your link to your friend, the computer. Information, directions, mission updates, XP points, Halavid, and the rest. It's all beamed straight to your eyeball display. Uh, anything else you need to know? Sub vocalize it. The computer can see and hear everything you can, so you don't have to describe anything. The computer knows already. Uh, okay, grab your mops. You're all working for technical services. And your first job is, she kind of scans the room, to get that scrub bot repaired. Escort it to technical services depot down the corridor and make sure nothing else happens to it. Don't screw it up. Alpha Complex needs a lot of scrubbing right now and you'll get 10 XP points each for this. She leaves, uh, she leaves. It's, and now it's just you, the scrub bot, and some mops. How heavy does it look? Uh, it looks like it can be lifted, but it needs two people to do it, because that's how big it is. Okay. Could it be turned on its side and rolled? 
Uh, I think it's a bit squarish in, in okay. structure, so it would be very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is that impossible. <laughs> yeah, it's not impossible. <laughs> um, can I take a look at it and see if it's something that, like, we can turn off the emergency break or something so we'll just roll on its wheels? Uh, yeah, uh, sure, you program. can kind of take a look at it um, if you want. Let's. How about we do a roll for it? Um, I want you to roll mechanics plus, uh, let's say engineer. So that's two fours and a two. Two fours and a two. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, that's fine. So, uh, you kind of take a look at it, uh, as you're kind of patting it down, trying to find, uh, um, uh, like a, a, what's it called, emergency brake on it to kind of release the wheel. Uh, two things you notice right out the bat are, first of all, this thing is kind of gnarly looking. Like, the scrubs on it are, like, kind of jagged and, like, a little dangerous looking. Um, okay. uh, and uh, second of all, uh, as you're kind of patting it down, it goes, Hello, citizen. Ow, stop hurting me. Ow. <laughs> and it, it kind of, you see, like, a little light on it flicker. And it, it kind of fizzles for a second. It's like, I appear to have been murdered. <laughs> I, I rush over and I'm like, oh no. Oh no, how can we help? Oh no. Please tell my wife and kids that I will not be coming home for Christmas dinner. <laughs> arc, arc. <laughs> how, how many kids do you have? It does not respond to that. Okay. <laughs> but there is a piece of ceiling tile just, like, kind of sticking out of it uh, from <laughs> when it got uh, trampled on. So, or when the ceiling tile fell on it and kind of impaled itself into it. Okay. Because uh, Boris gave me a shirt, I'm going to latch onto him like a little puppy. Like, hey, hey, that was really nice. What, what should we do? What do you want to do? Uh, what, what do you want to do? <laughs> Based on my memories and skill set, every instinct tells me to make it into a bomb. <laughs> or throw it down the hallway. Uh, but I do not you hear a, a thing, uh, <laughs> something pipes into the room and says, I hear you're discussing making a bomb out of the scrub bot. We would like it if you did not do such things to company property. As such, we will be designating you one treason star for terrorist threats. <laughs> uh, ab above Ty's character's head, you can see one star appear next to his name. Ty, on your character sheet, uh, t uh, put yeah. one in the treason star's part. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't, don't they, get five of they, those. <laughs> they, they, there are no such thing as bad ideas, but that is hey, not true. Hey, that, <laughs> that doesn't look... That's probably not good. Yeah, I've always heard that stars are great, so that, I, think that, I think you're doing a really good job. <laughs> Instinctually, you all seem to know that trees and stars are bad. Um, <laughs> I'm oblivious, so I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. It's a star, this is awesome. It's really good. Citizens, <laughs> you hear the, <laughs> the scrub <laughs> I oh, think I oh, might no. be able to pull, pull, pull through if one of you would please take the trap now out of my head. <laughs> you see the little scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I can, I can do no, that. No, 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 wait. I can do it. Wait, I'm going to do wait, it. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, try to do it. <laughs> Alright, uh, why don't you roll for me, probably mechanics and engineer again. Uh, combine those two. Well, I got a, a one and a four, so... Me. So you, you pull it out, uh, you manage to pull out the shrapnel, and you see a, a couple wires come out with it, and it just goes, Ow! Oh! Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> put, put it back! Put it back! <laughs> uh... Uh, I'm gonna hang onto the ceiling tile and just kind of like, um, um, and just hold it in front of Lars's face with like the wires like <laughs> next to his face. Okay, okay. I'll grab it and shove it back. <laughs> you see the wheels spin on it a little bit like it's panicking and stuff. Just, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll just jam it back in roughly where it was. Not so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Citizens, like please to... stop harassing the scrub <laughs> bot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you had XP points, I would deduct them thusly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the, the scrub bot just goes, please, please just get me to technical services. You've done enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to lean... I'll, I'll lean over and I say, I don't think we're qualified for this job. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to walk up to the, the scrub bot. I'm going to act like I'm going to try to help him. But then all of a sudden, I, as I'm going up, I kind of like step slowly. Just, he's, ah, uh, that's a nice wall. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to best. die here <laughs> because of necklaces. <laughs> he, did, he did everything he could. <laughs> <laughs> The door open and Roz comes in and she's like, did you get the... Come on! <laughs> it's fine! We're, we're all fine! I'm gonna look over to Daisy and say, you haven't said anything, which is fine. Take your time. Um, if you have any suggestions, that would be great. My suggestion is that we do what we're supposed to do. So we should just take it out of here. Right? Right, but the wheels don't work. There's like so a pop that it? comes from it. <laughs> no, you can carry it. You look strong. Why don't you carry I, it? Oh, not. But thank you. That's very kind of you. <laughs> I will attempt to carry this robot. Uh, you can. However, you would need another person to help you because uh, things just rather large <laughs> and heavy, even for. A I person. will. Ooh. I will try. And I'm laying on it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not helping. He needs his rest. Let him regain his strength. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a blurb comes onto the radio. Citizen, <laughs> sleeping on the job is a treasonous offense. <laughs> I would like to warn you this one time to please get your act together. <laughs> what? I'm treasonous? <laughs> you are now. Alrighty, so uh, um, it sounds like you want to, uh, both of you want to... Uh, I'll help! She says I'm strong, so I, I believe her. <laughs> I'm going to help us. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Alrighty, so uh, I, I'll just say that you guys do it. Um, you've spent enough time in this room. <laughs> so you're, you're, uh, you're both carrying... There's other rooms? <laughs> <laughs> Alpha Complex is more than one room. Um, you're both uh, carrying it from like the sides, really kind of huffing it as if it's like this, almost like you're moving a refrigerator. Like that's how big this thing is uh, into a new house or something. Um, uh, just before you guys attempt to leave the room, the computer pipes in, please citizens, remember to take your equipment with you, your mops and buckets, for if you leave them behind, terrorists could take them from you. <laughs> So there's uh there's a couple mops uh next to all of your uniforms and stuff. Just remember to take them with you. I'll grab them. I'll I'll go pick it up. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh so as you guys leave the room it says, Congratulations on joining the Alpha Complex Workforce, citizens. Please accept one XP point as a bonus. XP points can be spent on necessities or luxuries, including increasing your security level. Before you leave the briefing room, Ask yourself the following three questions. One, do I have all my equipment with me? Two, do I know where I'm going? Four, do you know what to do when I get there? Do I know what to do when I get there? Six, do any of the people around me look like mutants, terrorists, or other forms of traitors? If the answer to any of these questions is no, or in some cases, yes, then ask your mission briefing operative for clarification. Good luck with your Just mission, citizens. Like to suspiciously eye Boris. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this robot is heavy. I imagine I have like a hand on it. It's really. Can someone grab my mop? Oh yeah, I got it. I just, I help. I'm carrying two sets of supplies. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, you guys are uh, leaving the room. It sounds like you got all the mops and everything. You're carrying. You got two people carrying the the scrub bot, just kind of haphazardly down the hall. And as you're leaving the room, sirens suddenly blare and a large pop-up window appears in your field of view, alerting you to the proximity of wanted terrorist Wasname the Not Dead. Be careful, he may be after your mops. <laughs> uh, the pop-up message is blocking most of your sight, but around the edges you suddenly spot a man in a black uniform, like yours, sprinting down the corridor towards you. He looks terrified. Five gold stars float in the air above his head where most people have names. What do you do? 
I would I... like to sucker punch him. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> that is so. Wait, he has the, but he has the most stars. That means he's the most valued. <laughs> In a way. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, you kind of like run forward because he's a little bit down the hall and he's coming okay. towards you. So you're like the first line of defense springing to action. I want you to roll violence plus melee. Okay, I have one six, not on the unique. Alright, so um, you uh, you run forward and you punch this guy right in his face. He kind of like, oh, and he like falls backwards onto his back and skids for a little bit because the floors have been mopped here fairly recently. Uh, and so he kind of slides to the feet of Boris and, uh, and Liz and, like, bumps into you. Um, I want you both to roll, uh, mechanics plus, let's see, uh, athletics. One regular success. One regular success? All right. Yeah. I have a five on my computer die, six, five... Three, two on the other dice. So what happens okay. is, um, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember everybody's name. Liz, uh, you managed to grip onto the the scrub bot pretty nicely. Um, uh, uh, you you managed to hold on while uh, this guy kind of bumps into your legs. Boris uh, manages to kind of hold on, but the problem is is that his legs get clipped by this dude that slides into him, and you drop the scrub bot on him. Uh, and oh, the guy oh, just gets completely, like, <laughs> like, just kind of explodes as this, like, gigantic machine with these horrible, as I remember mentioned before, jagged scrubs <laughs> on the thing. Just kind of, like, slam onto the guy, and he just kind of explodes and dies. Um, you see a bunch of, uh, red clearance, um, uh, guys with guns running down the hall and they just look at you and they look at the guy on the ground that's been completely murdered. There's just, like, blood everywhere. <laughs> um, it's been completely all... manslaughtered. That part wasn't <laughs> intentional. Uh, can we get some that's more so mops? Sad. Can we get some more mops? <laughs> I think we need more mops here. <laughs> Wasp's name is very dead and it's your fault. A squadron of troubleshooters thunders around the corridor. Resplendent in their red armor, laser pistols drawn, and halt by the corpse. Their leader fixes you with one metallic eye. Which one of you is responsible for this? Point to Boris. Oh, Point really? To the really? Point I to think. The robot. I, I, I think. We're, I think really this whole establishment is responsible for driving someone to do something like this so tragic in front of all of us. Uh, everybody stares at you with abject horror, and you hear the computer bump on and goes, Citizen, are you accusing Alpha Complex of being less than perfect? Please accept two treason stars for such a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Every, uh, all the other uh, troubleshooters turn to each other and are like, that, that was a recall, that was a recall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This scrub bot clearly has murder in his eyes. He is called <laughs> red-handed, as you would say. Scene of the crime. <laughs> Gesture. Citizen, are you telling me that company property has the intent to kill and does not work properly? I believe it was you who was designated with the task of fixing said property. <laughs> so that means we... that this is <laughs> under your jurisdiction. Please give yourself we... one treason star for such an acclaim. No, we're doing... We're getting so many stars. Of... This is great. You should be the one next. I point to, <laughs> point to uh, Lars. I'll take an awkward step back. <laughs> you see... No, I'm good. Uh, I lo I'm loyal. I love Alpha Contest. <laughs> Citizen, we love to hear a claim whenever it comes out. Please give yourself five XP points. <laughs> Yay! Uh, and then as that happens, Roz gets extremely jealous that you've been rewarded some XP points, and she goes, Friend computer, I'm arresting this infrared working party for unauthorized termination of a notorious fleeting terrorist known as Wasname, and then the computer interrupts her and says, Congratulations, infrared working party. You have aided Alpha Complex with your selfless act of quick thinking. One less terrorist is one more reason to sleep well tonight. Each of you receives 500 XP points immediately. This is enough to raise oh. you to each to the level of red. Well done! The troubleshooters around you applaud while looking incredibly annoyed. <laughs> so they're all just like... <laughs> 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 uh, 
Uh, the uh, I, start, I start clapping. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'd just like to thank Alfred Complex for giving us this opportunity. <laughs> I would it's like Alfred. to thank Alfred Complex. <laughs> 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 the computer continues. However, sensory feedback indicates the destruction of valuable Alpha Complex equipment, specifically a revised standard mop, infrared working party. Each of you has five XP points deducted as a lesson of taking care of valuable uh, items in your care. Uh, oh. So we, so we don't, so we don't, so, so don't. Don't have don't. enough to level up to red clearance level yet. In recognition of your abilities. <laughs> Wait, what? I, is it 500 to level up? It's 500 to level up. You guys have 495 oh. now. <laughs> no, I'm he good. got extra, oh, so yeah. he's actually good. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I'll praise Alfred. <laughs> Contest. <laughs> you will be able to do that later tonight. However, in recognition of your abilities... You are being reassigned to a new mission, where there will be a less chance of damaging equipment. Await new <laughs> briefing details. Thank you. I'll look over at, at Lars and say, You must be really special if you got all the- you still have- I feel like I was really important for two seconds, and then I wasn't. <laughs> but you're really important, and you're still really important, so are you the leader now? I no. think that's only natural. No. I'm hearing two conflicting reports. I'm going to assume everyone is the same level and we're all friends. Well, yes, but he does. He knows Alfred. Who is Alfred? Who is Alfred? Who is this complex Alfred? It's Alfie, I think. Citizens, oh. if you know of a new complex, please instruct your nearest friend computer station. For, for uh, We can't have any competition with Alpha Complex in this field. Oh, do I look around? Is Hi. there a computer around here? No, there's computers literally anywhere you request one to be. <laughs> I skip over. I, I skip over to the wall and kind of like tap on it and say, "Um, I want to talk about Alfred." <laughs> yes, I, I look for Alfred. I look for Alfred this way. <laughs> <laughs> Please let us know if you see any signs of this Alfred complex. And as you guys are. Uh, doing these shenanigans. <laughs> uh, all the troubleshooters that were in the room that were chasing down Wasp name leave. Uh, and a large scrub bot appears from a hatch in the wall and makes itself busy by ingesting the corpse of Wasp name, and the broken mop, and even the scrub bot that you guys were <laughs> were trying to carry down the hall. So it's just being completely eaten by this other one. It's just, tell my wife I... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, lean over, <laughs> I'll lean over to Drew and say... I think they call that auto cannibalism. <laughs> <But it's> a... <laughs> Citizen, please give yourself two XP points for the wonderful pun. Thank um, you. Raz R. Heights appears, uh, reappears from down the corridor, bearing a sheet of paper. I suppose you think you're all clever. The sector's in crisis, and you go around interrupting the work of troubleshooters. I'm not impressed. Plus, you've been reassigned, effective immediately. It says here we have to go to Sector Hoy. Uh, where you must find a plug, unplug it, and plug it back in. Don't ask me questions, I know as much as you do. Cerebral Cortec will guide you, keep hold of your mops. This is a 150 point XP mission, and... Oh great, apparently I'm coming too. <laughs> and so a notification pop-up appears in everyone's Cerebral Cortec, directing them to the nearest production, logistics, and commissary depot. Uh, so there's like an arrow that blocks... It, you know how in most video games it's kind of out of sight? That is not the case here. It is literally <laughs> impossible to see around it. <laughs> it's, it's like a, covering a most of your field of view at this point. Um, I'm walking like this, this, literally just like walking. And I thought like I... A... It's like a compass arrow, so when I turn, it turns to yep. the right. <laughs> well, that's good. That's it 100% good. Of almost obstructs your vision with the exception <laughs> of, like, various corners and stuff like that. Roz sees you guys kind of stumbling around like idiots, and she just goes, you can, you can customize how big the arrow is if you just think about it for, like, five seconds. I just right, keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, follow me. Can you make it go away? Can what? I make it so small that it doesn't exist? Uh, that would be treason, says the prosecutor <laughs> who, who knew that you were thinking that. <laughs> do not. <laughs> I'm gonna make it one size larger than not existing. <laughs> real tight. 
There you go. I, I, I don't register how to change it, so I'm just, like, reaching around and bumping into everyone. At one point, like, I grab onto something, and it's Boris's, like, upper arm. I'm like, what? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I will guide you. Right this way, guys. And then I turn back, and I just grab your arm again. <laughs> okay. You and me go. Right this way, everyone. <laughs> right this way. <laughs> I would, I would like to uh, attempt to lead the party. <laughs> Roz, Roz. Oh, he's the leader, and I'm gonna grab onto him too, like <laughs> on the shoulders, like conga line. Like, yes. Roz isn't super thrilled about that, and she goes, "Hey, if you try to lead this again, I'm going to report you for treason. You infrared clearance. <laughs> like, hey, you hey, gotta listen. You can't to talk me. to me like that. You're just another red." Ah, uh, you're an infrared, so I can talk to you like that. Because actually, that's how this actually, works. actually, the, I'm looking not directly towards him. Actually, um, <laughs> he did, in fact, get enough XP to become a red like you. But he hasn't done he... it yet. <laughs> so she, she like puts the foot down. <laughs> I would like to think about spending my experience points to level up to red clearance. <laughs> you, uh, you can't do it just yet. Okay. You, you have to do it at a, There's like a briefing thing that they do to level up people. And Dang it. Clear. I wanted to sass her. But, uh, because you did sass her, the friend computer comes down. <laughs> Sassing a red level clearance when you are an infrared clearance is a negative 30 points XP. Please no! <laughs> yes, I found the accidental loophole. <laughs> Wait, you just added 30 points. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Dear citizen, attempting to adjust or inflate your XP points 